Hi and welcome to Soul Food, our weekly meditation. And this Sunday we start our pre-Christmas message. So for the whole of December we're going to be doing a, a little series uh, called Alive and Free, uh, looking at uh, how Jesus came to bring us life and freedom and what that mean, means in terms of God becoming uh, or attaching humanity to himself. And, and we started... Uh, this Sunday, looking at the voice of God and how God spoke, speaks and spoke prophetically. And many times he spoke hundreds and hundreds of years, way before the event uh, of Jesus' birth, e- explaining and proclaiming that God himself will come for us. And we, and we looked at those and we were encouraged by those. And, and what it showed us and what it taught us is that prophecy isn't some kind of mumbo jumbo, stick your finger in the air kind of thing, but it's purposeful. It is the very will and voice of God to us. And that God is continuously speaking to us and that we just need to position ourselves to hear from him so that we can walk in obedience to his will. So the verse that uh, we are looking at to um, just to spend some time meditating over is Isaiah 7 verses 13 to 14. And it says, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus, Isaiah has a prophecy that God will come, a son of a virgin. And that's exactly what happened at Christmas. So the questions to think about are things like, how do you hear God? And in what ways does he speak to you? Do you always hear him and know when it's him speaking? And as we think about the coming of Jesus and how God spoke to people hundreds of years before it happened, what can we learn about how God speaks today and how can we become more in tune with his voice?